Portugal and the sun's all well and good. Give me a week in the rainy highlands anytime. My family come from Scotland, so most of my holidays growing up were spent like this, by a loch somewhere, not far from Glasgow, traveling around, getting wet normally, occasionally hot, but then you get midges. Just being around nature, it's brilliant. I went for a run yesterday about 6.30 in the morning. I was up in the hills, just being out in nature. Did about half an hour and I kept thinking, I need to turn back, I need to turn back. I'll do one last hill. Got to the top of the hill, stopped, ready to turn around, looked up and there were just a bunch of deer just in front of me, just grazing and it's absolutely brilliant. Actually, you get in the highlands, deer, wildlife and adventure. Since I started the channel, I've been using two main cameras to vlog on. I've been using this, the camera you're watching now, which is the Canon C100 Mark II. I use that for work because I run a video production company, so it's great. But it's quite bulky, you can't really vlog with it very easily traveling, traveling around. It looks nice, it's great. But I've been using, going around, I've been using a GoPro and I've sort of pimped it up a bit. So I've got an external mic and I've got a different case for it. So it's, um, so then you need to put the external mic around here and you need this little pack thing that comes on to the external mic. So it's a bit bulky. You sort of have to use cable ties to tie it all together. And generally, it just doesn't work very well. You get this bit that goes on it, that's quite good. The microphone's good. Um, because it, sometimes it just stops working and this thing here has stopped working completely. People have been asking, hey, when are you can do some more Dan and Robbie Explain videos? Well, the truth is, we have. We did two videos and this thing didn't work. And the sound, it just used the sound internally rather than the sound from the top mic. It didn't sound good enough, so we didn't put them out. Is a, is a clip. What happens is we will press the button to open the door, okay. and then we'll get on the train. So just follow my lead. He's gonna stop. Don't, yeah, don't panic, don't panic. This is the Canon 200D. And I bought it to do vlogging with. It's a lot smaller than the C100 that I'm using there. Uh, and it's a lot more reliable than this nonsense system. I can still use this mic on top of it, so the sound will be good. It fits in the side, but there's no dodgy adapter things like there are with the GoPro. Uh, and I can use all my Canon lenses. I've got quite nice lenses because I do it for a job and I have to. So I've set this up. It does look quite overkill with this lens on it, which we can do for now. And we'll go outside and we'll have a little play of it. Okay, we've got the camera set up. Let's go and see how it works. I don't really understand all the settings yet, so I'm not really not quite sure what's going on or whether this is working properly or what I need to do. There's a nice little screen on the side of the camera so I can look at myself. I'm going along, check in, in shot. Seems to be focusing well. Yeah, I like it. I'm not just hanging out in a graveyard, by the way. I'm just walking through it because it's quiet. I don't want to test it out in a busy road. Okay, so it's working in a graveyard. Let's give it a proper test. Gardening. They got quite a nice present garden surprise this year. Been in this house for about two or three years and I've not really paid that much attention to what's going on a lot of the time. And some mysterious thing I didn't know in the garden, this, this weird tree. I just noticed a plum tree. You can sort of see here. Well, this is a perfectly ripe plum, which is quite rare. So what seems to happen on this tree is they spend a while being really hard and sort of green and then in about 10 minutes they go from that to being absolutely rotten and rancid and just disgusting. Uh, and if you manage to get them in the window, they're really, really nice. I'm going to eat this plum now. Mm. Look at that. Absolutely magnificent. Now that's genuinely one of the best plums I've ever tasted. If I left that another hour, it would be in rotten. Very small window in which you can get things from that tree. But a great addition to the garden, even though it was always there, I just didn't notice. 
That's not all good tree news though. There's some bad tree news. To this tree, some kind of, I don't know what it is, like a pear or a juniper tree or something, but it's got some kind of horrific tree disease. Look at that. Rank, innit? Now, I've looked up online and it basically needs to have all the branches that are affected chopped off and destroyed and burned and stuff and it might survive. But that's kind of all the branches because there's not really, there you go, there's not really any branches that aren't affected. So I worry this tree might have to go. It'd be sad because it's quite a, been here quite a while, but it would mean I get to plant a new tree and I've never done that before. That's exciting. The tomatoes are looking pretty good now. They're getting ripe, hitting their stride. We've had a few of those. They're mostly tasty. A few of them have been a bit there. Uh, some of them are really good. A few different varieties there. I don't think I've nailed the tomatoes though this year. I don't think I gave them enough care. I don't think I gave them enough food. I've had better years of tomatoes and I'm, I'm suffering now. But well, you live and learn, don't you? Now, when I planted late season carrots, it was always going to be a dream, a shot in the dark, a wild hope that we could manage to get them in time. But so far, they're looking pretty good. There's definite growth coming there, so we don't know what's going on under the surface. Fingers crossed, we might just squeeze in a bonus carrot crop. Come on. Okay, so let's stress the elephant in the room. The vlog's late this week, a day late. We get him out on Mondays, and promise to keep the Mondays. But yesterday, I didn't have a chance. Got back from holiday, it was work all day, off the theatre last night. I went to see Fun Home, by the way. If you get a chance to see that, onto the 1st of September, Young Vic Theatre in London, near Waterloo. Go, absolutely brilliant. Anyway, just didn't have a chance to do it. So, I apologise. We're going to try not to let that happen again. And I'm going to try, as penance, to make another video this week and get it out before the end of the week. So, I apologise. Thanks for watching over there. Let's just hope this new camera's worked.